this question uh, we are given now it's a little bit of imagination it's about the direction so in a region of space there is an electric field e and that is towards the z direction and has a magnitude which depends on x so that's uh, uh, 964 uh, x when a flux for this field uh, through a square in the xy plane at z equal to zero uh, so in the, it's in the xy plane with the side length of 0.35 meters and one side of the square is along the x-axis and another side is along the y-axis so uh, uh, this is the coordinate plane and we have uh, we have a so we have a square over here uh, which looks like this so one side is towards the plus x-axis and another side is towards the plus y-axis and this is this is a zero point uh, 0.35 all right uh, so uh, we need to find and the electric field is towards the plus z axis so i'm going to point it with the cross which means that it is going inside the plane and inside the plane definitely means that it is the both are it is perpendicular uh, to the uh, to the plane which we are seeing all right so uh, we got to find the uh, total flux, but I know we know that uh, we know that the flux is given by E dot A. But in this case, the E is not constant; it's varying as per as the x changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a thin strip along a particular x. So we go on x and we take a thin strip of a width dx. This is the width dx, and we are going to assume that in this small width dx, the electric field has got a be constant so we are going to find the flux in this strip uh, which is going to be which is going to be uh, which is going to be e dot da da is the small elemental area uh, e is 964x uh, da is this is a rectangle so that's going to be a length times width so the length is uh, 0.35 and the width is dx so that's going to be 0 0.35 uh, dx and uh, this is a dot product so we have cos of the angle between them and we know that electric field is pointing inward and the area vector uh, and the area vector is also pointing inward or outward uh, so the magnitude it's either it, it can either be 0 or 180 but it doesn't really matter because cos 0 is 1 and cos 180 is minus 1 and we are more interested in the in the magnitude so we are going to place it as cos 0 all right so this is the elemental flux so the total flux uh, uh, let me rewrite this equation as by eliminating cos zero so d5 is going to be 964 times 0.35 we can do that so let me grab my calculator over here 964 times 0.35 this is 337.4 337.4 x dx and this is the required elemental flux. So the total flux is going to be we integrate both sides and the values of x are from 0 to 0 0.35 and this is from 0 to 5. So that's going to be uh, the total flux is going to be equal to 337.4 and the integration is x square over 2 and we place the limits from 0 to uh, 0 0.35. So this is going to be equal to we multiply this with we multiply this with 337.5 times 0.35 square over 2 so that's coming as the total flux is coming as 20.67 so this is the required uh, uh, total flux through this uh, particular uh, square thank you